I'm top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, Orlando's number one real estate company. And if you're looking for a great deal on a home, if you want to call me, it's the handyman special. Someone's going to buy this and make a lot of money. 407-339-3200. We're at it. 5326 Weirwood Avenue, Orlando, Florida. 32810. That's W E I R W O O D. Here in Kingswood Manor off of Lee Road in West Orlando. And this is the kind of house that everybody wants. Let me tell you why. So we're going to take a couple minutes and walk away from the property so you can see the neighborhood. I want to show you what it really looks like. In this video, if you've seen the best pictures online on Realtor.com, Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, Homes.com, I'm the one who took and posted those. People call me and say, what's it really look like? So what are we seeing here? We are seeing a good looking neighborhood, quality affordable homes. Most of these are owner occupied, which is what you want. We're at the intersection of Weirwood and Beatrice. We've got a long cul-de-sac down here, which is what everybody wants. We're also seeing no HOA. So many people call me. I'm gonna show you. Gotta have a three bedroom, two bath. I want a concrete block home. This one was built in 1962. Want a nice family neighborhood, cul-de-sac kind of place where people live there, not just all tenants. Great location, close to I-4. You want the kind of home that people in the neighborhood take pride in their home. want the kind of home that's the least nice one on the street that you can turn into one of these you can get it a good price and they can't need too many repairs you can see it's house after house they all look good we had a hurricane just recently, so it's a lot of refuge at the curb, waiting for the theoretical FEMA to theoretically come and pick it up, which they'll do sometime by the next hurricane. Look at this nice cul-de-sac. People who care about their houses. That's your neighbors right there. There's our house right there, 1,269 square feet, built in 1962, central heat and air, concrete block, there's a porch, two-car garage. Schools are Lake Western Elementary, Lockhart Middle, and Edgewater High School. Taxes are about $3,700 a year. You've got that special feature people love, a metal roof. Put in about 2018. Those usually last about 40 years. And this one's only six years old. And this is a rental now. You can see there's significant deferred maintenance, but it's just the kind of deferred maintenance that everybody wants. It's a day with the chainsaw. Trim some things up. It's the kind of things that you get your wife or your girlfriend out here to help you with even. Not hard work at all. Put a new AC in. Plumbing is good. Electrical is good on this. It's all flooring, paint, cleanup. Do it yourself. Make a 
boatload of money. In its current condition, home is not financeable, but it sure could be just a little bit of improvements. Two car garage is a really nice feature. You can see at one point, some put a lot of care and a lot of love into this. That's coming off of the washer and dryer there. Or just the washer, actually. Video in this house, I get so excited about it, I want to buy it and fix it up myself. You're probably saying, what about inside? Well, let's go in and see. So here we are inside. Welcome home. Got that nice open floor plan that people want. Living room, dining room, kitchen. And as you'll see, we're in need of a total cosmetic renovation. All of the material items are in good shape. But it's been a while since the property has been renovated. Got this parquet flooring, which you might be able to keep. We're going to need paint everywhere. And the kitchen. That flooring's not going to make it. The cabinets are original. Refrigerator's not included. To give you a feel for the living area. Nice floor plan. All right, and one of the nice things here, we have the original terrazzo floors, which are still in use from the kitchen all the way back. Definitely the original shower, tile, and tub. I don't think they make it like this anymore. It's now coolly retro. Definitely in good enough shape to clean up and save. Might want to consider trying to keep this flooring since it's lasted all this time and longer like there was some carpet there at one time that would clean up we're in bedroom number three of three here nice size room and nothing that anybody who's looking for a good deal 
wouldn't expect. Doors, fixture, hardware, paint, ceiling fans, all the things. Whether the home was in really good shape, really bad shape, you're going to do all that anyway. Bedroom number two. This is a nice size bedroom. Again, you'll see that flooring, probably savable. Just a question of fixtures, paint, blinds, little cleanup. The door here originally. And lots of closet space. That's three closets in the hall. And now we're in the master bedroom. Again, doors, paint, fixtures, all the things you would expect. So it was originally a three bedroom, one and a half bath, long time ago, two owners ago, I think. Someone had went in. That is just from condensation. It would wipe right off. Someone went in and added this shower. So now you have the three true bedrooms. You're going to end up redoing this, so you'll probably end up redoing the flooring. Probably could save the white tile. A lot of this is just paint, not even carpet and paint back here. So, so many people come to me and they say, if I could just find something I could put a little sweat equity into. Something that does not too complicated. Electrical looks pretty good. We'll go look at that in a second. It's been replumbed. So there's the AC. It was dated on the unit 2010. So it's probably going to need to be replaced. And that's about what you'd expect anyway. If you buy anything and need some work, we're probably going to put a new AC in. Even if it doesn't really need it, you can still put one in. Now the electrical panel, which has obviously been redone. It's a big expense. They box this out for code, and I think part of it has just come off. It's a pretty easy fix. Once everything's out of here, you'll be able to fix the flooring pretty easy. We have a washer and dryer hookup. water heater most likely serviceable you can see the replumbing there and the replumbing there and now we go out the back to the back porch another great feature and again, this part, not that hard to fix up. Some new fixtures, some paint. These were vinyl windows, which everyone hates anyway. You can just remove the vinyl. There's screen underneath. Should probably make it even nicer in here. Some 
scraping and painting. That may or may not just go back on. That's something that I'm sure you're equipped to handle. All right, so now we're in the backyard. We'll look at the things that are a little bit bigger. You can see that nice metal roof back there. So the sticker on this says 2010. I think it was sitting in a warehouse for quite a while before it was installed. So we have this shed that somebody attached a long time ago. Obviously, nobody's using it. Made some damage from the recent hurricane. You can see why the shed is probably going to come out. Probably not worth saving. Take it out, haul it away, bring the roof back. Now this was from the recent storm damage. It's not really impact anything, just doesn't look good. Again, this is what people want to do, the sweat equity. Afternoon with the chainsaw. Trimming up and this place will look good. No one knows what that's for. I'm going to guess it's from a old well from a long time ago. This is city water and sewer. No septic here. That is a good looking roof right there. And as I said, an afternoon with a chainsaw is going to take care of most of this. That's all from the recent storm. We're still dealing with a little bit of it right now. Again, nothing you wouldn't expect for this huge discount in price that you are getting. fence going down the side got the neighbor's chain link over there so if you were even thinking about buying this home or want a great home here in Orlando handyman special something that you can fix up and make a ton of money with I want you to call me top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with the Remax town and country I've sold thousands and thousands of homes over the last 35 years and if this one's not the right one for you, chances are I can help you find a great one that's just what you're looking for. Call me and we'll make some money.